Good day everyone. I'll be taking you through Tax Pro Max by FRS on withholding tax filing. We understand that it's been giving people issues. We we as tax consultants have been to the tax offices and realized that people have several complaints on filing withholding tax online. So the FRS are trying to go digital in their annual filing and their monthly filing, including withholding tax and VAT. So I'll be the one to put you through withholding tax filing. So you can see here, this is the uh, opening page. When you open, when you log in to your Tax Pro Max account, you quickly head to Group Taxes. Okay, Group Taxes. You can see ret returns previously submitted, withholding tax, pay as you earn, withholding VAT stamp duty but our focus is on withholding tax so that's what we'll look at okay so with for withholding tax we're going to file using the naira currency and tax type is others not dividend and interest so i think this is the point where everyone has issues on withholding tax filing so usually what what we're, what we're expected to do is download the a sample template which you can see down here you download the sample template and in downloading it now I'm, I'm sure by now you should have your um you should have your withholding tax ready so the sample template is just for you to load every other um item you need every day all the details you need for filing of withholding tax so i'm going to open my template Mm -hmm. So, okay, yes, so I hope you can see my template for withholding tax. This is how it comes. I'm going to enable editing. Yes, okay, so this is how it should be. This is how it should be. Now, in doing now to fill in the details, you're not going to fill in your details on this sheet. Okay, you're not going to fill your details on this sheet. So what you're expected to do is, if you have, say, several withholding taxes to pay on or behalf for beneficiaries, you're going to just count some. Sometimes you just guess the count, and you can drag this all the way to the number of items you have. But for us, we're going to be working with two, so we're going to fill for two. Okay, so we're going to copy this sheet out of here into a new workbook, an entire Excel workbook. So this is what we'll do. We're going to go paste it on our own workbook. Okay. See that? So we have our own Excel, um, our own template, our own on our own Excel and workbook, a new one. So we're going to have to fill in, we'll fill in these details. I already have one ready, so I'm going to just pick up that one that I already prepared that we don't waste time so this is what i'm gonna do so i'm going to open mine and show you how it is because it was a new workbook as well so this is it okay so yes so this is our these are the items we have on our workbook so basically what i what I expected to do is when you copy it from the sample template you're given. You copy to a new workbook, as I explained earlier. In coming to a new workbook, you fill in all the details you have: your beneficiary name, your beneficiary team, transaction date, transaction um, um, description, the amount, transaction amount, the rate, with the, the tax type, which is withholding, of course, and the tax amount. For the schedule reference, you fill in zero. Okay, so like I said, you're supposed to even have your withholding tax schedule prepared already. So what you're going to do is more, more or less copy and paste. And also, a tip, do not um, try to, I understand, look, and you can see that, yeah, sometimes this thing is not, is not filled correctly. So do not try and use wrap text on Excel because it would reject the withholding tax. Like when you upload it to the website, the website will completely reject it and call it an error. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the website to Tax Pro Max. Okay, I'm going to choose a file. I'm 
going to open our file right now skip me okay this is our file we're gonna open it here I've chosen file because you can see this is my file this is my file name I'm going to proceed okay I'm going to proceed and it takes me to this uh, sheet so it brings me to this sheet you can see that all the items I had uploaded are showing over here now this is beneficiary the beneficiary I had this is the team number of the beneficiary this is the team match so the tax pro account your tax pro account is going to try and search the team which you imputed and it's going to match the team so if you don't have it will tell if you don't have a team if your team number is not correct the team number provided for you is not correct it will tell you here yeah, no match and once it tell you yeah, no match it means that it's not going to pay the required sum into the team provided so you need to um uh, make sure the team number corresponds with the creative file you can do this by going to the frs team verification online to verify everything you have to make sure it's correct if it's not you will contact the beneficiary to provide the correct team number so moving on you put, click on proceed it is going to take you to the payment site as you can see here it has calculated my the sum i'm going to pay the total sum remitter or interest switch i prefer remitter so going to remitter you can see the option of pay online that's paid directly from your bank account or the company's bank account if you have access or print and pay using remitter so that means that you would you generated a, a an rrr we generated for you and you will take it to the bank to make payment in doing so it will be automatically credited to the withholding so yes it will be automatically credited to your account in the sense that to show that this payment has been made so okay so that's that's it for filing withholding tax on tax pro max i hope you enjoy it thank you